this is a trapping video as in trapping wild animals if you're not into that sort of thing then please do not watch because I want to trap some critters um, and uh, anyone that would like to is welcome to join me so uh, let's see how it goes here with uh, episode one well as you all can see the water is up uh, got some traps out and uh, it rained <laughs> I knew it was <coughs> probably gonna but uh, I put out a few sets anyway so uh, looks like we connected bees are floating down there let's pull that up and see what we got <laughs> Oh boy. That's a nice one. Huh? Yeah, boy. <sighs> yeah, anytime uh, just their head is mostly in the 330, it's a decent beaver. That's a big one there. Sweet. Well, we'll check a few more. Uh, the weather's supposed to straighten out here in a couple days, so I'll be getting some uh, predator sets out. Uh, i got to get cracking, uh, getting a late start this year, but I had some things I had to do. So. Anyway, uh, first catch of the year, and on we go. There it is on the old 400 Honda. Give you some kind of idea, again, as to the size of that critter. Pretty decent. Not on my sling there. <laughs> okay, gotta get going. I'm back on this contour that they mined some years ago. And uh, <clears throat> as everybody knows that's watched my channel, I trap this every year. And I uh, just set this up yesterday. And We've got us yoked. It's a male. Um, decent size, not huge. Um, 1.65 Bridger. Yeah, dirt hole set at the base of that pine tree there. And uh, my blue cheese bait. Blackie's death wind and Caven's canine force is what brought that one in. Like I said, I just set this trap yesterday. So that's the first coyote of the year, so that's good. So I'm going to set a few more and uh, run on down the creek. Uh, there's a couple beaver dams I want to check on and uh, maybe get some sets out there. So Stay tuned. First yote of the year. There's a remake of that set that I just caught the yote in. Uh, put a little red fox urine there, carried around that squirt bottle, Caven's Canine Force, Blackie's Death Wind, and the blue cheese bait that I make, Predator Bait. So that's the remake, and uh, we'll see how it does. So we had a TS-85 set right there, a little Dobbins Beaver Plus. <coughs> On a stick. And uh, the trap's gone. There's a beaver in the water there. Hope y'all can see it. <clears throat> yeah, this be the second one. I caught one the other day when it was flooded down there. Let me pull this critter up out of here and uh, see if it's tangled up or what. Back foot catch on that thing. That's one thing about them TS-85s. It's the first one I've owned that catches them really high. Just had the weight of the trap and uh, that railroad plate. About 12 feet of cable. Uh, like I said, that's the second one out of here. That's probably 
probably all of them. Uh, I may tear out part of that dam and then recheck this. But I gotta go on down that way. I've got some predator sets. So it's a nice beef. Onward. We're going over in that country. This camera's not gonna do this view justice, but still. Yep, got beaver traps down in there. Let's go check them. Kind of in the middle of nowhere here. Uh, I never would have found this pond if uh, my friend Tim hadn't showed me where it was at. Because, uh, like I said, it is... It's off the beaten path. But uh, we set a few traps here yesterday. And uh, connected. I'll be right there. And then we've got a sprung trap. <clears throat> Over here. So we'll probably reset that one. And uh, see what happens tomorrow. Alright, let's get this beef out and see how big it is. That's about a two-year-old. See my number nine boot there beside it. Not bad. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reset here because this water's stirred up. I know there's more than one in here. So, uh, yep, I'll reset these. I might move that one. Uh, I think I'll move it. Probably on the other side of this tree. There's a bank den right there. So I'm going to set the trap there. See how it goes. All right, got some more sets out. Go check them. Taking bets on how old this is. They sure build them good. The creek I'm trapping is over there. Uh, me and my friend Tim, he pointed this out to me yesterday, and uh, I decided I'd come up here and look at it. Fireplace on either side. The way those rocks are fitted together. Pretty amazing. The other side. That's starting to lean a little bit. I guess this this is uh, quite a bit over a hundred years old. There were still a few houses up in here. Um, nobody was living in them though back in the late 60s, early 70s when I moved into this part of the country. So my family used to walk up in here and we'd check the old homesteads out. But I gotta go. I figured I'd show you all this. It's cool. Down here on Quicksand Creek, I uh, had a few sets down here. I got a average beaver there in the JC1216. I think is what that is called. That's the fifth beeve so far. Um, I'll probably come back and set this up later. I think there's still some beaver in here. Um, yeah, there's actually a couple caster mounds here. Well, this weather passes and then uh, I'll be back down here. I think I'll try to set it from that other side. The water's pretty deep. All right. That's it for this episode. Uh, I'll see you all on the next one.